Hi everyone. So in this video, I will show you how to answer the question where you need to find the hydrostatic force on curved surface. So this question is taken from a past year question uh, which you can obtain from my Moodle page. So the question is a 2 meter long solid cylinder of radius R 0 0.8 meters is hinge hinge at point A is used as an automatic gate in the water reservoir as shown in the figure. So you need to determine the first one is the magnitude of the hydrostatic force FR and the angle theta at which it is directed and second question is to find the weight of the cylinder when the gate is about to open. So uh, there are a few steps that you need to follow when you want to solve this kind of uh, problem um, and the first step is to isolate eh, the area enclosed by the curved surface so why you need to do that is because after you isolate the area enclosed by the curved surface then you can draw your FBD so how to do that is um, you need to identify where is the curved surface so this is the curved surface okay so where is the water? Water is on the left. Okay, so we draw a plane. Okay, connecting um, the curve, uh, one of the uh, point um, of the curve. Then you make a close loop, close loop. Okay, so you re redraw this. You get a curved surface, and you have uh, the water. So you make a close loop. Okay. All right. So once you get the uh, closed loop, then you can actually um, identify what are the forces acting on this area. Okay. Sorry, not nice here. Okay. Then uh, what you need to do? So the FR is acting um, at this point. Okay, so basically FR is acting at this point okay. and it will go through the center. So this is the center point uh, at this point. Okay. It must be a straight line here. Okay. So basically FR, so this is the FR. So FR consists of uh, component force in x and also component force in y direction okay so this component force in a uh, horizontal uh, component force is due to the force acting uh, horizontally so where is the force acting so it is actually here okay it is the same like the plane surface where we have the or, um, hydrostatic force eh? so we call it as horizontal hydrostatic force so at the same time for this component okay, the y component we have the vertical force that is acting from this side and also the weight of the water inside this uh, volume okay. um, going down so so now this is your FBD. Okay, at the same time, we also have weight of the gate here. Eh? So the gate is actually um, okay, the weight is actually uh, the, the weight of the gate eh? or the weight of the cylinder. Alright, so to find FH, FB, weight uh, of the water and the weight of the cylinder, you need to follow the same step as in plane surface where um, the first one that we need to do is to determine um, the magnitude of FH. Okay. So the similar step as plane surface where you need to find the H bar. So I call it as H bar 1. So where is H bar 1? 
Which part 1 is taken from the water surface to the centroid of the plane surface? So where is the plane surface? It's actually beside this plane surface. And uh, it is the location, a hitch bar is the location or, or the distance from the water surface to the centroid. Eh? So that means we take the, cent, uh, the water surface until the centroid which is half of 0 0.8. Alright. So this is our hitch bar 1. Okay. From here to here is actually 5.2 um, eh? because 6 meters minus 0 0.8 so therefore fish bar 1 is 5.2 plus 0 0.8 divided by 2 so we get 0 0.4 so 5.6 meters so second question uh, second step is to find the area so for this site okay this area is uh, the imaginary area actually there's no plane there this water but we assume there is a plane so we call it as imaginary area so the area is of um, of this this shape lah, which is rectangle okay with the width um, of the radius which is 0 0.8 okay and it's uh, two meter long solid cylinder so meaning here is 2 meters eh? so this is not to scale so 0 0.8 times 2 which is 1.6 then only you find the horizontal hydrostatic force which is gamma h bar 1 a1 okay? so 9810 is the gamma times 5.6 times 1.6 so you should get Eight for eighty-seven. Sorry, eight seven eight eight seven nine. So eight seven nine kilo newton. All right. So next is to determine F V. So basically, F V follows the same step, which is H bar. So we take h bar 2, so fv is at the bottom, so h bar 2 is the whole height which is 6 meters, then we find a2, so basically a2 is at the bottom, so the bottom is also an imaginary, um, actually it's a surface which is the bottom, so 0 0.8 meters the, the radius and, and the width or the, the length is 2 meters, so same, 1.6. Okay. Next is to find the FV. So FV is gamma H bar 2 A2. So 9810 times um, 6 times 1.6. So you should get 1.6. Sorry, just now it's uh, 87.9. Eh? It's not 8. 87.9 this one is 94.2 kilo newton okay next is to find the weight of water so to determine the weight of water so this w is weight of water is uh, by using weight equals to gamma times volume so what is the volume is um is actually if you draw this in 3D you should get um this minus quarter or um rectangle minus with quarter cylinder then you get the rest okay so basically um gamma times volume of rectangle minus volume of quarter cylinder okay so therefore um, gamma times um, 
Okay. Your ma is 9810. Okay. Times with a uh, rectangle. Volume of rectangle is um, 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 2 meters. Okay. 0 0.8 is here. 0 0.8 is here. This is 2 meters. Eh? So you minus with a quarter cylinder. Okay. Which is plain here. Um, a quarter cylinder is 5 times R okay, times R so R is 0 0.8 square times length we divide by 4 a quarter alright so you calculate Okay, you calculate. Uh, give me a second. Okay, don't forget to times with 9810. So you get 26.9 kilo newton. Eh? Alright. Okay. Then, um, once you get this, okay, then you can find the summation of force in x direction is fh. So fh is uh, uh, 87.9, while um, the summation of force in y direction is uh, fv and weight is uh, opposite direction. So fv minus weight, so you get 94.2 minus 26.9 so you should get 67.3 kilo newton um, then to find the angle <coughs> so to find the angle so basically the angle is um, here okay so it's here and is at this point so to find the angle uh, angle or tangent theta is uh, summation of fy divided by summation of fx so therefore theta is inverse tangent tangent and summation of fy divided by summation of fx so inverse tangent uh, 67.3 you divide by 87.9 so you should get Okay, what do you get? Um, okay, wait, I, I think uh, I got it wrong. Oh, yeah. Please adjust your calculator so that it is shown as uh, the theta is in degree. Just now I got it wrong because my calculator is showing uh, the radian, eh? not in degree. So make sure it is in degree. So the theta is 37.4 degree. Eh? Alright. So second question is to find the weight of the cylinder when the gate is about to open so when the gate is about to open we take the moment about a okay the moment is equal to zero eh, when the gate is about to open so what are the um the force uh, sorry the moment um counterclockwise so fr 
Oh, before that, we haven't calculated the FR. So basically, FR is summation of Fx squared plus summation of Fy squared. Okay, then you square root. Okay, so 60, uh, 87.9 squared plus 67.3 squared and square root. Okay, so the magnitude of the FR is 1, 1, 0, 0.7 kilo newton. So that is the magnitude. So this should be the answer for magnitude and this should be the, the magnitude of FH, uh, sorry, FR and this is the data. Okay. Now uh, FR uh, times R sine theta minus weight of the cylinder okay, times with R. So R can actually be cancelled. Therefore, weight of the cylinder is FR sine theta. Alright, so FR is 110.7 sine 37 point four. All right. So one one zero point seven times sine sine thirty seven point four is sixty seven point two. All right. So I hope you get something uh, from this video. Okay, you know how to calculate the hydrostatic force on curved surface and can actually find the external force. Alright, so see you again. Uh, thank you.